welcome back literally this is what i'm talking about when i say big hair i'm just what i'm talking about big hair be so imagine this year with like um with like um smoky eye dramatic lashes be long nails yeah and a deadly compote be step back i'm looking like a flipping fiend i'm looking like looking like i'm here to do some dangerous business be and that's really what we're all about to be honest yeah anyways yeah welcome back so the title of the video is three ways to improve concentration and oh, sorry i said that wrong <sighs> okay i'm back B. sorry that was an accident okay so um the title of the video is three ways to make progress in your life and to live life to the fullest okay so the first thing on my list yeah let me quickly check god what is that right Okay. Okay. So number one, yeah, is you want to set a task for yourself each week. And I'm not saying just any boring dead task. I'm talking about set yourself a task this week that you know is gonna make you happy, that's gonna lead you closer to you being happy. Okay? Cause I was thinking about it earlier today, yeah, and I was like, hmm. I tend to do things more when I know that it's gonna make me happy. Or it's gonna be something that something that's gonna fulfill my desire. Yeah. So think about this. Yeah. So normally people say, okay, you need to you know plan and do this, this, and this. You know, but they say all these boring, dead, like rigid things, and you're like, oh, I really don't want to do that right now. For example, okay, let's say weight loss. Yeah. That's the easiest example I can give you too, because that's what I'm currently still dealing with. Okay. Okay, so weight loss, yeah. If I said to you, yeah, okay, this task this week, yeah, you need to work out one hour every day. You and I know that the health benefit of that is obviously you're gonna be healthier, you're gonna, you know, shed those extra pounds, and you're gonna look better, contrary to different people's opinion. Obviously, you're gonna look more better either way, physically or even your inner glow because you're eating better food so your skin's gonna look nicer because you're drinking more water you're gonna you're not gonna look tired you're not gonna look dead you're gonna look alive you know so let's say that we let's say we've agreed okay these are the benefits yeah so i want you to work out like every single day one one hour a week and eat healthy now that i told you the task in your mind already you're thinking oh god like i really don't really want to but i have to and when something is like a i have to you're more likely to procrastinate, you're more likely to be like, put it off, you know, like, you're more prone to eat things that are kind of like, not part of it, because they make you happy in that moment, so like, a piece of chocolate, a slice of cake, or I like cheesecake, so, you know, you taste it, you know, you're like, oh, it makes me happy now, so I'm going to eat this now, and, you know, work off, work it off later, do you know what I mean, so that's an example, so, whereas if I said to you, yeah, do you want a sexy body like i'm talking about not just a sexy body but do you want a body yeah that can get any guy on the floor to you literally be like on his knees to you be like oh babe don't leave me don't leave me or that's not i'm not i'm not i'm not that kind of chick by the way but i'll just say for example or if, if you're a guy yeah what's it to you listen yeah because i'm gonna make it easy and nice for you yeah literally if you do this thing yeah i'll swear down yeah like your body's gonna look so buff, yeah. Even before summer, yeah. And all the girls are gonna be on you, like, like, oh, babe, like, what you did, like, you're gonna be more like, mm, okay, what do I need to do? You'll be like, rock, okay, no, 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 okay, okay. Tell me what to do, Alicia. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. Why? Because you're looking at the 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 benefit is heightened more to you than the 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 tasks and the obstacles to get the benefit. Do you know what I'm saying? So, my first point, going back to again, my first point is yeah my first point is set yourself a task each week that will make your life that will make you happier okay I'll give you a practical example okay all right so you can say okay this week um let's say you're a creative person yeah let's say you're a creative person or let's say you're somebody who really wants to gain their confidence back or you really want to you know explore a certain hobby okay Right, so let's say, okay, you know, you've, you've had this gift in, I don't know, 
like dance or music yeah but you've never really delved in it for example yeah so this week your task will be learn everything about dance and music why because it's making you happy do you get me so you plan towards the things that actually bring you joy so you bring you joy and make you happy right okay another example will be like okay this week yeah i'm going to start a website i'm going to make my own website and i'm going to put all my artwork on that website as a portfolio do you get me okay cool let's say you want to have more money now okay all right so this week i'm gonna apply don't even say this week write down the amount of money you want to be earning yeah and uh, listen let your heart like me yeah i believe that all things are possible so i don't really put limits on people but then again i do understand like how like um hurt hurtful like disappointments can be but i feel like disappointment is just for you to come back harder and get something better anyway maybe that disappointment maybe what you thought about will be good for you at that time wouldn't really satisfy you so don't worry about it do you know what I mean? it will all work out it's always normal it's always gonna work out in the end yeah okay so what was i saying so i'll give you a real life example okay so i was like okay this week yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna okay i don't really want to tell you my real life example because i feel like it's a bit personal for me but my one is for example like this week i was like this week yeah i'm gonna bang out as many youtube videos why because i know next week i'm gonna start work you know and i actually really enjoyed doing these youtube videos so i would always be like okay today yeah i need to bang out like this, this, and this, and to look into this, this, and this, right? Right. And personally, I would like, even though planning is good, and that's something that I did today, I thought, let me plan and be, have it more structured. I personally would prefer things to be a bit more uh, organic. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, free. Like, I wouldn't want to be too structured, because I feel like it will put a limitation on who I am and my creativity. So if I was to... Be like oh, okay now i'm gonna plan how i'm gonna you know when i intro in my youtube video it has to be this this and this like i'm just giving you a real life example but you see what i'm trying to say so i prefer to do spontaneous videos because i feel like you get the true and um, real essence of me as a person and what i bring to the table um but that's not to say that things can't improve of course things will improve but that's just for me to get started right now right now i'm just getting started you get me so um i'm not gonna think too deep because i know myself like i'm a perfectionist you know like i will put things off until everything is like phenomenal and perfect obviously in my mind but then again what i think needs to be maybe unrealistic okay i don't really like that word unrealistic but what i think needs to be may not even maybe a hindrance to me do you get me if i'm actually if i was to move forward and improve along the way i will get it to that stage eventually you know so just thought it's just a perspective okay so we said number one set a task each week that will lead you to that will lead you to a happier place in life okay so if you want to be um modeling yeah sorry like, let's say you want to be a model yeah babe uh, you need to go and get like your favorite model yeah oh it's not idolized but you already know this go get your favorite model yeah and like put it somewhere you can see and be like this week i'm gonna do i'm gonna take five i'm gonna take i'm gonna i'm gonna buy a book based on modeling of amazon and i'm gonna practice that all this week and that's gonna make me closer to that dream do you get me that's what you need to do okay so that's like one task and so that leads me on to my second point my second point is yeah once you've completed that give yourself a week to do it okay and i'm not saying that do like a massive massive thing yeah but give yourself a week to do it and if you complete it in like one day or two days do it more like literally really use that time to really invest do you get me so number two would be reward yourself for it okay so that could be okay so this week yeah i'm gonna set myself i'm gonna set myself a task yeah to work out 30 minutes every week every day yeah and then on Saturday, I'm going to go and I'm going to order those shoes that I've always wanted to buy. Order it. What's, what's that going to do? It's going to, like, retrain yourself to focus on your true desires and wants and passions. Mo mainly re re reawakening your passions. 
because what we've been taught to do is to do what everyone needs to do because you know life ain't fair and i'll be honest with you to, to be honest yeah life isn't fair at times but it doesn't mean it needs to stay unfair does that make sense you can fix it by the actions and the thoughts the new thoughts new actions you think so even if you felt like you got dealt like a disgraceful hand of life yeah i'm telling you yeah you can you don't have to stay that way yes that was unfair but it doesn't mean it needs to stay that way okay don't think that it needs to stay that way you can correct it you can change it okay because you have the power to you're on this earth out of everyone that could have been made yeah you were made yeah and you're on this earth to do something phenomenal why I stay stuck here yeah, because of something that was beyond your control and if anything maybe it's this this thing that got you stuck with something that is going to make you better as a person to even be a better thing that you probably thought wouldn't have been ideal hey it was 10 minutes now sorry i didn't i didn't want to make it a long video but anyways yeah so number two yeah is reward yourself let's say every saturday me and you we say okay if i'm your friend yeah like, okay every saturday yeah i'm gonna meet you at this spot yeah and we're gonna go hey we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna mayfair like we're gonna go to the nicest clubs or we're gonna go like um eat at a certain restaurant like in Knightsbridge like do you have it? and why are you going there because you complete that task is to train yourself to reward yourself to like to number one align with your true passions and desires and number two reward yourself for it so you now think that every time i follow my true passions and desires life is going to be good okay okay because it's true okay number three is number three is um oh yeah number three is choose someone so during this week that you say you put your your, ta your task there's bound to be someone that's trying to help you or even if not trying to help you someone to encourage you surprise that person with a gift it could be anything oh my god it doesn't have to be extravagant like i'm not saying break your bank account yeah but just surprise that person with a gift yeah you know what's, what's gonna happen is it's like a cycle so as you're doing like step to make your life better and good things are coming to you by you doing that positive stuff you're now pouring that positivity and that love into someone else what's going to happen is that's going to come back to you do you get me so you're like oh my gosh you really got me this thing i've been waiting all this time for this thing and then they're going to be so happy and then you're going to enjoy them being happy and that kind of gives you a boost like hmm that really felt good you know and so you're going to be more inclined to do that what's that going to do that's going to improve your relationships that's going to improve your perspective of life yeah um and more times that person will, will feed that back to you not if not that, if not that day maybe another point in time so let's say as you're progressing every week now you're doing this that person these people that you keep on rewarding and helping out and surprising they'll be like oh my god i heard yeah that so and so is doing this and that would be great for you and boom opportunities coming all because yeah you decided to do positive things with your life and it's not even about positive just oh i'm gonna be positive because let's be honest yeah if i said to you if i said to you yeah okay this week i'm going to be positive it sounds positive but it's not like a desire like a, mm, i want to create that desire for you to go get do you know what i'm saying when i say when people like when people get when people like go get something they go get something that they want because they know that thing that they want is going to make them happy that's what it is at the end of the day you subconsciously like mm, if i do this this and this i can buy this and it's gonna that's why people do hard things so easily because they know that if i do a b and c yeah, it's gonna make me happy in the end so that's what you need to do okay so those are my three steps so apply it to your life let me know how it feels and let me let me know how it goes you know what i'm saying and don't worry about the outcome it will just happen okay all right have a great day bye